What's up YouTube, Redbeard's Garage, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be putting the performance parts on the Coleman CT200U EX. You can tell it really, I mean, it bogs on the hill almost to a dead stop on the first hill. Second hill's a little shorter, not as steep, so it climbed it a little bit better. Did it spin or was the clutch slipping? Could you tell? It didn't spin. Okay, so the clutch was slipping. Um, we can also adjust the uh, throttle screw out. I completely forgot about the throttle screw on these things, which will give us a top speed of 25 mile per hour over 19 mile per hour, like you've seen in last week's video of the red one. So, me and Lonnie's gonna go race these and uh, then put the performance kit on and see what the difference is. I'm so anxious to just get the performance parts on this and let the screw out. I like don't even want to test nothing because I know how much better it is. Yeah. Huge difference. So right? let's go test it. <laughs> Huge difference, isn't it? Oh yeah. Uh, well, that I, throttle screws massive with that. I performance hope it got kit. on camera, but when I first got out right here, it raised the front tire. I looked back at it. I was like, <laughs> Yeah. When you take off, if you get it going like 10 mile an hour and then punch it, you can ride a wheelie on it. Oh, yeah. I know you can. So. We're gonna go down the road real quick and come back and slap these performance bars on because it's such a massive difference. It's it's awesome. It's the only way to do it. Yeah. Kids, don't keep them soft. <laughs> Just seeing.
First thing you're going to want to do is remove the air box. There's two 10 millimeter bolts at the front of this box. You can use that deep well socket to remove that. You're going to want to shut the fuel off and turn the choke on. That's going to allow the housing for the air filter to slide off freely. And you also want to turn the fuel off so when you swap out the jets later, you're not going to pour gas everywhere. To remove the bowl off the carburetor, there's a 10 millimeter bolt in the bottom of it. Just loosen it off, the bowl will come out. There will be a little bit of gas in here, but just put you an oil catch pan or an old milk jug or something underneath to catch that fuel. Then you can use a flathead screwdriver, and this is gonna to have to be a small flathead screwdriver to really get in that jet and make sure you don't strip it out. Once you pull the jet out, the emulsion tube will carry behind it. Then you can swap out the new performance emulsion tube and performance jet, put that 10 millimeter bolt back on, and you're good to go. putting the air filter adapter on you want to make sure the choke hold down is securely on the choke handle so it won't fall off while riding and then you can put the two 10 millimeter nuts back on and then slide the air filter on and this part of the process is finished there's a throttle screw right here if you loosen this you're going to get more throttle and more top end up and from 19 to 26 miles per hour when putting the performance exhaust on you just want to take the half inch or 13 millimeter nuts off the original muffler you're probably going to want to use a wrench for this because when putting the aftermarket header on you don't have a lot of room uh, to get a socket in there on one of the nuts When sliding this muffler on, there's an Allen head bolt that is a quarter inch hex bit and just tighten it up. Place the muffler however you want it on the pipe. You can push it back further in the frame or allow it to be on the end of the pipe. We got the performance parts on both mini bikes now and uh, after this first start we're gonna go rip snot. Yeah I'm gonna start this thing run around the yard and then we're gonna go ride for a minute. Pretty excited about this one. No. deflate my tires a little bit because it made a huge difference on that red one we thought about doing this the whole time and we just having so much fun we kept forgetting it so we're gonna do that and go ride
cam baby so the carb was pretty dirty in this camo and probably because i took it through quite a bit of junk when we oh, yeah. rode them i just hit mud pretty hard like the pull cords all crusty so i need to pull now, it that's off that's the only bad it. thing about these performance parts is we gotta be a little bit more easy in the mud i have a fix for that what i'm gonna do is when we do take these where we know there's gonna be water and mud we're going to put the factory air box back on but with uh, it modified for more breathing so to keep the splashes off of it we just can't get the motor underwater right. but it should per, uh, which we protect haven't done it. yet so yeah i wouldn't take it in anything that uh would engulf it in water these things are freaking awesome with the go power sports kit and that governor screw loose huge difference yeah like you only gain what six, six miles per hour but that's huge hour, but the torque is way bigger oh yeah it pulls hills like nothing and i'm just so big of a guy it's hard for you that little motor jump that though and without the kit it no. bogged it about yeah. didn't make it up that yeah, and they, it's a huge difference. Uh, I'm, I highly recommend. I mean, that's the first thing you should do to one of these. And once we take the governor out and put bigger valve springs in, uh, that'll change the top end. Yeah, and it's going to be a while before we do that because we're waiting to get. We're going to regear these very soon. We have a new sprocket for both of them. I think we're going to a 60 on that one and a 72 on mine. Torque monster. Torque monster. Really and then monster. that'll buy us time until Go Power Sports gets their torque converters out, basically. Yeah so uh yeah because they are creating them they will be the only company that provides them yes and it'll be an all together kit uh, to slap a cvt on your mini bike so uh me and Lonnie's gonna ride these some more and uh have some fun yeah so guys this coleman ct 200 u ex is uh, a ton better just like the red bike was i mean it's just a massive upgrade and loosen up that governor screw definitely makes a huge difference too can't believe we forgot about that screw for so long i'm just so used to ripping the governors out of these engines as soon as i get them i forget that you can adjust on them a little bit but we got them both adjusted out all the way and it made a huge difference in this performance kit is even a bigger difference on it i mean the thing launches now lonnie can actually punch it from a roll and actually lift the front end up with very you know very little effort you can see we was jumping the driveway having a blast on these things so if you got one of these mini bikes definitely go to go power sports and pick this kit up it's really cheap and you can use that discount code redbeard to save 10 percent off this kit as well as any other item on their store uh, other than engine and race parts so uh, if you're building a mini bike or a go-kart use that discount code and save you some moolah make sure to follow us on instagram snapchat facebook and twitter so you'll see pictures of this stuff before it comes out on the channel. You can stay up to date a little bit better with this. Uh, links to everything is in the description below as well as our uh, P.O. Box. That's Redbeard's Garage P.O. Box 572 Sweetwater, Tennessee 37874. So if you guys feel like you want to send us something, either for the wall or just something in general, feel free to. We're not asking you to, but uh, it is down there in the description as well as all the links to the parts and social media but guys these bikes are fun we got a lot in store for these things as soon as that torque converter gets done we're going to slap it on them and uh, have an even bigger blast we're going to go on a, a big adventure so definitely stay tuned we got some awesome stuff coming out on the channel thank you for your support uh, we also have merch if you want to support the channel that's uh, rbgcarts.com you can buy shirts hats and stickers and it's just going to help us to be able to do even bigger and better builds and bigger giveaways we have some in mind so uh stay tuned for those Guys, help support the channel. Thank you for subscribing. Share this video if you liked it. And uh, subscribe. Always come back to Redbridge Garage. I'm out.